What's going on everybody? Survival Islanders back in with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and group. Link for those will be in the description. So this video today is um, going to be about the jump scare thing that I have made and provided in previous other videos. And a lot of people are saying a lot of things aren't working. One person asked if how to make multiples. Like how can you have two different monsters that do two different jump scares? I'm going to show you how to do all these things as long as, and the animation, so please pay attention with the video. We will go step by step and st on to make sure that nobody will get confused here. I'm going to show you how to properly do the one. So, the link for this will be in the description, like just the, all the other videos. Um, if you do anything different from what I do, it's that's probably the reason why it's going to get screwed up. Okay. So, we have the dummy. We have, you see all these. You're gonna put these in their designated things. Okay, then within each folder, take out the things and remove this. So take out the stuff and remove the folder with the name. there now within modules what happens to everybody unlike what it's going to happen to me this this number within modules that i just opened you go all the way down to animation you have to have properties open now you don't let's say you don't have properties opened okay you're going to go to view let me just close out of properties you, you you'll see this so you want to go here into view there if you want to make it so you can see both at the same time, just click on the, this and there. So anyways, click on animation, you see this ID. This ID is my ID. It's not going to work for you. So if, let me just, here's what everybody sees. Well, um, if I were to just make this zero and join in. This is what I'm sure a lot of people are seeing, and I'm going to explain why you're seeing this. You see this, and then, yeah. Okay? That's happening because, A, I don't have an animation, and B, this happens to you guys, even though you have this number, because you also don't own an animation. This is my ID. It's only going to work for me because I made it. You can't just put everything together here and then expect it to work. That's not what happens because this is my ID. Without my, with only my ID, it's not going to work for you. So, even though there's a number there for you, it doesn't work. So how do we fix that? Okay, I made a dummy. You go to plugins. You can, I think it's an automatic plugin for everybody, but or you can find your own, but. I went to Rig Builder, I went to make a block rig, and then I have the animation editor, which I can also put in the link in the description. So, this is the one I was working on. I just made a bunch of things, and you can watch our animation video to do so. But to do an animation, if I went to my new one, click on it, I just write. I'm going to add all. And I'm just going to then if I hit loop there, when you want to save an animation, you're going to, you're going to go up here to these three dotted lines. You're going to hit save. You're going to hit new, and then you're going to call it whatever you want. Okay, we made our animation. Where is it? Find the dummy you were working on, open it, animation saves, here. This is the part I'm sure people are getting confused on. You right click on this. You go to save to Roblox. This pops up. Unless what I'm showing isn't popping up. I'll explain it then, because apparently it doesn't want to show up. What happens is after you right click, there's this screen. It'll say asset configuration, where my mouse is, and everything. 
you're going to see title, you're going to see description, you're going to see creator. Creator should be you. Description, you're not going to be able to submit unless you have the description, so I'm just going to type the letter A in the description. Title, call it what you want. Then you're going to see submit. Once you submit, it'll say successfully submitted in green, hit close. Close out of the little thing that pops up. Okay, you made your animation. Now where do we find it? Well, let's go find it. Okay, here in under create, if you go to create, you go to animations, there, there's there's my thing. You click on it. Now, up top, this number, this number right here, this is your animation number. This is the one you need for your game. Control C to copy. And then you would go to your thing and then you would type in this. You would control V in there. Now, when I'll go and test it, when I go to touch it, it should do the new animation I made. There. Okay. So now you learn how to do your animation and add it so it works and you can't really screw that up. Okay. So, now you want to add more than one. And like I just said, if you did, if it's still not working, then you've obviously done something wrong. Okay, so let's add another one in. Now, to not get these ones confused, I am going to go into my workspace folder within the new one. And I'm going to name everything number two. Scarer template, two. Jump scare room, two. Jump scare dummy, two. This also helps with something else. So we'll get to that in a second. But I want to go into my jump scare room. And I want to change the light that I have added to a different color. So now one is red, one is blue. Now you can really tell the difference. OK. So how do we set it up? You have two rooms, but multiple things uh, within the new one. And also just change it to number two. Change camera to number two. Open up the script within your number two. See if I need to change anything. Let's see. Nope. Nothing needs to be changed within this folder. I mean, this script. So I will then take this down into starter GUI. GUI. You have change camera and change camera two. Cameras, you have the original folder. I wanna make it so the cameras are different. Number two, jump scare camera two, putting it within the folder known as cameras. So you have one camera, two camera. Okay, up next, the two dummies in the room, putting them where they belong in the workspace. Scare template. The AI, putting that also in there. Okay, now we no longer need the workspace folder. We no longer need the starter GUI folder. Number two, taking the thing in the server, script service, and also changing that to ser jump scare locally to adding that into where it belongs. But I'm gonna go and open it, and I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna rename everything to number two. I'm even going to change one last thing. Jump scare, the thing highlighted in blue, will also be need to change number two. There. You don't need to mess with that anymore. So here's our new modules folder. I'm naming it modules two. I can put that in replicated stores. When you open that, you want to make sure you change the like you did in the one script to number two. Also here too. And I'll even call animation the same. It, it'll also be at number two. You open up the jump scare manager two. Script on animation two. Jump scare dummy two. Change camera two. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have everything? Nope. One more. Jump scare camera two. There. We need to also change the highlighted a jump scare to 
I'm going to go back and double check my camera. Okay. Now we open up the dummy, the one that is the monster that came in the second template. I'm going to open it. I'm going to go down to where I put the script in the lower torso. And I am going to change this highlighted jump scare number two. Modules, two. Jump scare manager, two. There. Now, to make it so the animation will appear different, I will take the one that I had new, the wave, and change the animation in modules to jump scare manager to animation to change my ID. Now, I'm going to take my spawn and evenly distribute these two. I will test both and show you. I'll put the, that one far away. So we're going to test the first one, the red one. It did my original animation that I had made. Now we'll test the blue one. it will do my wave animation. There. That is all there is to it. If you have done anything different from what I have really done, then that is why you are having issues. And remember, do not just post in the comments and ask saying, why does the animation work? If you have not seen this video, that is it's probably why the animation isn't working. So uh, if you've got any other actual questions, uh, post down in the comments below, like and sub. We will see you all again in our next posted videos. Links for the, the model will be in the description.